will you never become unhappy answer you have now become aware that you were worthy of worship kings and that you then became beggars baba has come and it's once again making you into kings baba is now telling you the news of the whole world you have now come to know the history and geography of the world continuously have this awareness and you will never feel unhappy you will remain constantly happy song show the path to the blind dear god om shanti you sweet as slow lost and now found spiritual children heard the song your children understand that it is very easy to meet the father and receive your inheritance from him it is remembered that you received the inheritance of liberation in life from the father in a second liberation in life means the inheritance of happiness peace and prosperity etc there are the two terms liberation in life and bondage in life your children know that everyone has a life of bondage at this time because of the path of devotion and the kingdom of ravan the father comes and liberates you from bondage and gives you the inheritance as soon as a child is born his parents friends and relatives all understand that and here has been born it is just as easy to understand this as it is to understand that children see baba you have come and meet us exactly as you did in the previous cycle we have found the path to receive the inheritance easily from you everyone knows that the creator of the new world is god he is liberating us from wandering around yesterday we were doing devotion whereas today we have found the path of easy knowledge and raj yoga some children relate their experience of how they heard from the brahma kumaris of having two fathers no one apart from you could say that he has two fathers every aspect of yours is wonderful you are now aware that those who belong here will very quickly be able to remember all of those things yes sometimes maya even slaps hard those who had remembered everything by making them forget everything your children have to remain very cautious and thus the father has reminded you of everything you have to tie the bracelet of purity very tightly you now understand the significance of raksha bandhan who made you make this promise lost is the greatest enemy the father says promise me that you will never become impure and that you will continue to remember me and then the scenes of half the cycle will be burned and destroyed the father guarantees this your children and so understand that since it is the father who is giving this guarantee it must be fine what guarantee do goldsmiths give they say they will make old jewelry new that is their work when it's put onto a fire it definitely becomes pure gold therefore the father explains there is a law in souls how you go through the stages of sato rajo and tamo is very easy to explain the pictures have been made so that it is also easy to explain by using them 
they have many types of maps in universities and colleges these are your maps you can explain to someone very well the ocean of knowledge the purifier father comes and shows you the path no one else can make an impure person pure human beings are without sight and are unhappy you children know that during the first two ages there is no sorrow or devotion that is heaven there is the contrast between the people of bharat of this time and the ancient people of bharat however no one else understand this they do so much worshiping etc the wealthier people are the more beautiful the ornaments they put on the idols of the gods and goddesses baba it's experienced a trusty of the lakshmi and narayan temple in bombay had a diamond necklace made for lakshmi and narayan baba still remembers the name of that trusty he first built a temple to shri baba and decorated it very beautifully and he then built a temple to the deities and decorated lakshmi and narayan etc with so much jewelry how much wealth there would have been at that time mohammed ghaznavi came and looted camel loads of it there was so much wealth in bharat you now understand accurately what your bharat was there were unlimited treasures in our bharat they used to build temples of diamonds and jewels those things don't exist anymore everyone has looted everything look what the condition has now became you were worthy of worship kings and now having completed your edifice birds you have become complete beggars you should churn those things over and over again and you would then never consider yourselves to be unhappy you should continue to churn in your hearts what you are receiving from baba the father comes and tells us the news of the whole world no one knows the history and geography of this world you know that there was only one religion one kingdom one direction and one language and everyone was happy at first afterwards they begin to fight among themselves and bharat begin to be divided into pieces it wasn't like that at first there was no type of sorrow there there was no mention of illness the very name is heaven you have not remembered everything about yourselves we truly forget everything every cycle and then we remember everything the first and only mistake we made was to forget the creator and creation you now know the beginning the middle and the end this knowledge will not even exist in the golden age so how could it have continued from time immemorial at that time the main ones are the kings they aren't in rishis or munis then they come into existence in the copper age the rishis and munis received their food etc from the kings the kings looked after them because after all they renounced everything the ancient rajyoga of ancient bharat is remembered you wouldn't say that the rishis and munis are ancient they come into existence in the copper age they are supported by the kings they see we do not know the creator or creation the father says the kings do not know that either no one in the world has this knowledge you children half now became sensible you can write to those who built temples to lakshmi and narayan you have spent so many hundreds of thousands of rupees on building temples but do you know their life stories how did they attain their kingdom and where did they then go we can tell you all the secrets about where they are now you can write to them like this your children now know the biography of everyone and so why shouldn't you write to them see 
give us some time and we will tell you the life story of each one you can even write to those who built temples to shiv the temple to shiv in banaras it's so large it must have trustees you should try to explain to eminent people when eminent people understand their sound will be heard by everyone the poor quickly listen to them you should seek the help of eminent people you should get them to write their opinions because their voice helps in fact they don't make as much ad sound as they should you even explain to the president they even see that this is good when the chief minister or a governor performs an opening they write that this brahma kumari show a very good and easy path to meet god however they don't understand who god is at that time they just say that the path you show is very good that the path to find peace is very good but they don't understand anything themselves baba tells you to explain to eminent people as for very well known halls with the help of important people tell them we want to keep this exhibitions here permanently in order to benefit all human beings simply advertise this take 50 to 100 halls like this bharat is very big take 10 to 12 halls in each city it should be printed in the newspapers that exhibitions are being held in so many halls those who want to understand should come and do so so many will then be benefited by this your children have to have very broad intellects your children have to do service the father says to all your children hold exhibitions with great pomp and show baba is making preparations your children have to make effort all of these things have to be understood god comes and creates the creation of people through prajapita brahma therefore he must definitely have created so many brahmans he is now creating them again there are so many brahmans baba is creating this brahman religion at the confluence age you can see the ad understand all of those things in a practical way those things are not mentioned in the scriptures your children understand that baba only comes when the impure world has to be made pure people also know that the supreme soul creates creation through prajapita brahma but they don't know when he does that they believe that he must create a new creation they believe brahma to be in the subtle region you understand that prajapita brahma is now here you go to the subtle region you became pure and then became angels you also have visions children come back and relate that everything there is a movie that is the movie world you saw movie films you now understand everything in a practical way the entire world is the world of silence where souls reside in the subtle region there are the subtle bodies so there must also definitely be a language it is in the intellects of your children that the resident of your souls is the land of silence then there is the subtle region where brahma vishnu and shankar reside here it is the confluence of the iron age and the golden age the father comes here and your brahmins then go from here there is the home of the parents and the home of the in-laws both your parents are here both bab and dada make effort to make your children become like flowers muslims speak of the garden of allah there was a particular person in karachi who would stand in front of baba and fall down to the ground simply by looking at baba when he was asked about it he would say that he went to god's garden and god gave him a flower he had 
no knowledge. You now understand what the garden is. This is the forest of thorns and that is the garden of flowers. You have all the secrets in your intellects about what the iron age is and what the golden age is. You should have a lot of happiness because you have the whole cycle in your intellect. There is a lot of expansion about it. It is in your intellects in short. Your children have now come to know the creator and creation from the father. The creator. Brahma is not called the creator. There is only the one creator and the greatness is also of that one. First of all, there is the creation through Brahma and then there is the creation of Krishna. Brahma exists but Brahmins are also needed. Pandavas are not called Brahmins. Brahmins created through Brahma are needed. This is a spiritual sacrificial fire. This is called spiritual knowledge. Only the father gives knowledge to you spirits. You understand that it is not a human being who is teaching you. The father is teaching all of you souls. It is said that establishment takes place through Brahma. You would not say that it takes place through Krishna. That wouldn't be possible. Who inspires establishment through Brahma? Is it Krishna? No, it is the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. Sustenance takes place through Vishnu. Brahma and Vishnu also have their parts. The Malpun creation of Brahma then became the deities of the land of Vishnu. Brahma becomes Vishnu and Vishnu becomes Brahma. It has been explained to you, children, that it takes a second for Brahma to become Vishnu and that it then takes 84 births for Vishnu to become Brahma. These are such wonderful matters. No one can understand them. They are unlimited matters. You have to study the unlimited study with the unlimited father and claim the unlimited kingdom. Know the world cycle. The souls know it through their bodies. It isn't that bodies take knowledge through souls. No, it is souls who take knowledge. You have so much happiness. You should have eternal incognito happiness. You souls have the sanskars of studying. It is the soul that feels sorrow. It is said, don't cause sorrow to my soul. Your children are now receiving so much enlightenment. You remain happy. Your clouds have to become refreshed by the ocean and shower knowledge together, meet together and help to create thus exhibitions. You should be interested in doing this. Service, service and more service. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father baptada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point turn the knowledge you have received from the Father and maintain infinite happiness. Have an unlimited intellect and do service with great pomp and show. Second point, don't forget the awareness that the Father has reminded you of completely. Fulfill the promise you have made to the Father to remain pure. Blessing, may you be Constantly happy, hearted and sing praise of your fortune and the bestower of fortune. Explanation At birth, all Brahmin children receive a crown, throne and tilak as their birthright. So, by seeing the sparkling star of fortune, continue to sing praise of your fortune and the bestower of fortune and you will 
became full of all virtues. Do not sing praise of your weaknesses, but continue to sing praise of your fortune. Stay beyond all questions, for only then will you claim a blessing to remain constantly happy hearted. You will then easily be able to make others happy. Slogan To belong to one means ek nami and to be economical is the basis of success in Brahman life. Om Shanti 